Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Lizzie. I am a surface pattern designer and I'm also a coach. I coach other uh, creative business owners um, and just creative people wanting to work for themselves. I help them uh, curate their lives and their business in a way that they can make more money doing what they love. Uh, this is Mabel, my fur baby. <laughs> Constantin, my son, is in the other room and we've got baby boo on the way. So this video today is gonna to be about the bedroom. So I don't know if you've ever seen this kind of view before on YouTube. I don't think I have done much filming in the bedroom, but as um, baby boo is on the way, we've got some reorganizing, decluttering, and just kind of preparing, changing up this room and the space and how we use it a little bit to get ready for the baby. So the baby will sleep in here with us, um, it's recommended to do that up to six months. I think Stan was in here, that's what Constantin. I think he was in here for a full year before he moved into his bedroom. The way our flat works is there are two bedrooms, a big living room, and then we've got kitchen dining and a bathroom. Um, and so the plan will be eventually when the baby moves out of this room, he joins Stan in his bedroom. But as it is at the moment, it's a bit of a different setup because when we um, did things with Stan, we had Stan in here, but we also had a nursery all set up with everything that we needed. Whereas this time it's not going to be like that because that's Stan's bedroom. And of course, um, we can store some of the baby's things in there, some clothes and stuff. But really, as the baby will be living in here, we kind of need to have a rejig of how this room is going to work. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour of the space as it is at the moment. There's, I'm a bit of a hoarder and it's not that big a flat. And so there are definitely things that have been being shoved in here that now it is time to organise and go through and get rid of or, you know, things to be done. So I'll show you where we're at and I'll talk you through the plan of what's to come. And then I'll just give you updates. And hopefully before the baby comes, I'll be able to show you the room as it's going to be moving forward in that new, um, I don't know, guys is the wrong word, but that the new way that we will have the room to support us as our family grows. Right, so coming into the room, you will see all of the clutter. <laughs> so this actually, I used to have my dressing table here, which is now in the living room because I have the living room as like living room studio. So my dressing table is there because it's actually a great desk for working at. And this trolley has ended up coming in here. Um, but it's not kind of permanent and there's just tons of stuff chucked everywhere. So one of my jobs is just working out what do I really need in here and how am I going to make space for that? Because we've got a snooze pod coming that's going to go here. So my plan is that during the day, we'll probably have the snooze pod along that wall. But at night time, we'll flip it 90 degrees. So it's along the bed next to me. And then in this space, I will have either a little um, side table, like a little bedside table like Dan, or I might choose instead to have a chair that I can sit on to breastfeed. Um, need to get that cot built to see how much space it's going to take up. But obviously, I need to do a lot of organising here before we can do that. So as well as just like stuff that needs rehoming there, there's also two big bags full of shoes that I need to depop. <laughs> there's some artwork we want to put on the wall. Um lots of my jewellery and stuff is down here like there's my hair dryer do I need to store my hair dryer in here could it be in the hallway storage by the bathroom so this is like the main area that needs sorting out because we will have it so that um basically that's where the baby sleeps for naps and bedtime and this is this is the bed down side of the bed his pjs and he's got some stuff to do pop as well and then this is the other little problem area so I've got a bag here of press that I need to go through um because there's lots and lots of magazines and I could just like tear out the relevant pages from when I had smug and for different like Lizzie for smug press that I've gotten and then again down here there's a big thing of depop um clothing I think I got my depop stuff sorted <laughs> like two years ago and thought I'd do it during covid and then I never did um there is a print here that we don't want that we need to give away there's a pillow that's surplus to requirement. There's um, 
these shelves that we'd like to put up on the wall so i think that hook will come down and these shelves will go up and that will be quite helpful um as like a little kind of like baby centric area if we want to put anything in there for the baby and have like muslins hanging or you know sleep suits or whatever it is that we feel like we need um and then yeah we've got kind of boxes and tubes of things that have been shoved there because i haven't wanted to get rid of stuff and now it's basically time to get rid of stuff we don't need anymore uh yeah and then our wardrobes work like this so we have like floor to ceiling wardrobes here for our clothes so that works really well i'll probably ask danny to do a bit of decluttering because he just tends to put tons of his clothes here hanging up that he uses loads rather than having much in the wardrobe well he does he's got tons in the wardrobe but the things he uses often end up living there so that is the plan we will get going and we will show you and i'll probably do i think we're going to build the the bed the cot the little like snooze pod bassinet bed this weekend so i need to get going on all of this and we will show you um the cot built and in situ and then we'll work out what happens next hello it's the weekend and through the week i've been organizing what's in here under here i've brought a chair through and just put all of the shoes that need depopping these are more shoes and the clothes that need depopping the artworks are now there, the shelves are ready to go up, the press is done, everything I could get rid of has been gotten rid of. Those rolls of papers are all going to go out in the recycling. The top of here is all organised and clear. So today we're going to put the cot in place and we're going to put the pink shelves up, is the plan. And this is the cot. So we made the cutest time lapse of all time of the entire room with the entire family building it together. Mabel came and joined in. Stan was in charge of um, uh, passing the pieces and using the Allen key. It was the cutest thing ever. And then there wasn't enough storage on my phone, so it just deleted it. So that's distressing. Because <laughs> as well as wanting it to show you, I actually would have kept that as a lovely family video. But this is the cot. We've built it. This is the snooze pod. And this is what we're going to be putting in our bedroom. Um, Hopefully we've got it the right height. You can have it a different height so it's the right height for your bed. If not, then you might get a little time lapse of us taking it apart and putting it back together again. Yay, it's the right height and it's in situ. So that's all really exciting. I've got um, just a temporary IKEA like stool steps thing as my bedside table um, just for the time being. Um, this is not the way it will be long term, but it's in place and hi and we put the hooks up um so what's happening next um i have actually ordered now from hobbycraft a, like a metal trolley thing um you can obviously use them for like hobbycraft hobby uh, materials and stuff crafting materials should have closed the wardrobe it looks a bit messy sorry about that um but also like hairdressers use them as well you know the ones i mean with like a few levels what i decided was because this um snooze pod's only going to be here for a temporary time and then i'm going to get this whole space back it seems silly to choose a bedside table based on this setup so this was 25 quid we would use it in lots of different ways all around the flat so i've decided to get that also they could ship it within like 48 hours or something crazy so it's actually arriving later today and that can be like the top bit of it can be my bedside table and then the bits underneath can be more baby clothes and all that sort of jazz it will actually live once the baby arrives it will live on that side rather than this side but obviously when the baby's not here the snooze pod doesn't have to be as close to me but then also um probably i'll have it during the day so it's on that wall but closer over but um, definitely at night, I'll turn it 90 degrees so it runs alongside next to the bed. So I'm washing the sheets, which is why <laughs> there's nothing on the bed. But yeah, it's pretty exciting. So next jobs really are to get that um, trolley and fill it to work out what I want to put underneath. I've ordered some grow bags from M&S to go up there. Um, and I need to get depopping these clothes so i've got a bit more space and then actually 
we're pretty much there. We're not actually that far off it all being ready and doing the reveal. So pretty exciting. Look what's arrived. Yesterday, yesterday this arrived from Hobbycraft and San and I built it. And it's so perfect. It's on wheels. So it will be really easy to like switch these round because it's going to live over there once the baby comes. Um, I have got the top shelf of it or the top tray I guess with my bits that I need as like my bedside table stuff and then I've got some of little baby boo's clothes ready to go so I got these crates um from Lywood and our experience last time with Stan is that a short sleeve vest and a baby grow is basically what the baby's in for the first like three months basically um so I've got the tiniest ones on the top and then like just slightly bigger here so these are like newborn newborn and these are zero to three months and so we've got the sleep suits and the vests and then under here i have already ordered some more crates because in there we've got like little leggings and trousers um and then i also want one for long sleeves um and then we might have one that's like knits and one that's something else so we will fill that space too it's quite nice that there's so much there's like a big distance between each one so you can get away with having two stacks of crates so you can get quite a lot of stuff in there and then under here i've got these from firm living that we already had in stan's room that i was gifted a while ago this one's got muslins in it this one's got like little socks and bibs and hats and booties and that sort of thing so they're going to sit under there um and then up here we've got the two grow bags from MS. so they're zero to six months and i don't know yet if we're gonna do like a muslin swaddling for the first little bit um or go straight into grow bags we shall see i feel like we might do we might do no grow bag for a little bit and then move on to grow bag but obviously no loose blankets so yeah it's getting there um i've still got some obviously the crates will come. There's a few more bits to do. I want to clear the whole space. I'd like to buy him some little books or things to sit on that shelf and still need to get that depopping done. But we're so close to the room being finished. Hello, I'm done. I'm so happy with the room. Like we slept in here last night for the first night of all of the last bits of clutter cleared and the room feels so much bigger it's quite a little room so it's so nice to have it working properly for us and no just crap everywhere um but also it's gonna be like, like last time when we had it with stan it felt so cramped because of the additional furniture because of my dressing table still being here and because of the um the cot bed like the um bedside crib having to be permanently by the side it feels so good to have like a nursery nook which is what i'm calling it so um yeah it feels so much more spacious so much more light and airy and so much more functional so much more pretty um so i'm so pleased with what i've done and what dan's done to help as well so i'm basically going to give you a little tour but if there's anything that you want to know that i don't sort of say where it's from or what it is then just let me know in the comments and i will absolutely get back to you um and tell you all of the details but my, the bits that I've enjoyed the most actually have been like styling little shelves. Um, so you'll have seen bits and bobs of the pink shelf over here, but I can show you it now properly. Um, and then also where my hooks are, where my longer dresses hang over here, I've much more intentionally like styled the top of there and it's just bringing me so much joy. I'm really happy. Um, and Dan has been great and reduced what was on his hook and everything's just looking really lovely um and so i'm going to show you <laughs> so it is all looking a bit different hopefully hopefully you agree it's small enough that it's quite hard to show you everything in one go but this is how we're looking now I wish I could stand back further for you, but I can't really. <laughs> so, yes, here is the trolley.
that I showed you. It's now full. I got the extra crates that I was talking about. I'm really happy with all the different colours that we have. Um, and so that's got baby clothes in it. And as I described and explained before, this is my shelf. I've got my <laughs> prenatal vitamins and my water and my bits and bobs that I like to use at bedtime. Lovely creams and oils from Aesop and spritzes and sleep things and lip balm that I love. Um, and then this is Baby Boo's snooze pod. So you can see inside now, we have a sheet in there that um, I can't remember the brand, but we bought it from Molly Meg. We love Molly Meg, I'll link up Molly Meg underneath. Um, and this is a sheepskin. Um, we had Stan sleep on sheepskins all year round, so I've got one out and washed it and popped it in there. This cellular blanket was knitted and donated to the hospital for Stan um, because he was so premature and we didn't know he when he was born we didn't have a hospital bag or anything with us so this was his blanket that they donated to him which is so lovely um, this is a little teething toy again yeah if you want to know specifics of everything you can just ask but I'm probably not going to link like every single thing in the room up but I'll do some of the things so let me know if there's something you you really want to know um but on here I did a little reel of this because I created this little backboard um to kind of pull the whole thing together but the walrus's pool is by um dear prudence um, Laura Park who is awesome and wonderful and you should follow her on Instagram I'll link her up um, the whale book is is Lywood so this is like a little scrunchy nice like book more teething toys this one's Lywood 2 down here this guy what's the name of the brand I can't remember we got it from Arquette but it's it is Mayleg is that how you say it again I can link that up underneath um, and the grow bags here have got a lot of love on Instagram from that reel. They're m and I feel like m and grow bags are really, really great. And then um, Mal Sauvage, we used to sell these at Smug. Um, and that was hanging in Stan's room. So I've nicked it for here. He won't mind. <laughs> and then the back of the door is pretty much the same. Like these were my longer dresses that I need to put. Um, they don't fit in the wardrobe. But this area is so different now. Like look at that. There was so much stuff there. So now I've just got like my most worn shoes all there, not hidden by all sorts of nonsense. And this is my APC tote that I just keep. I always have like loads of little like storage bags. So Aesop drawstring bags, um, bigger ones like that. And also, um, what are they called? The Glossier little padded zip ones so I keep that there because it's really useful because I love organizing things and having them in separate like containers so that's why that's like that um and then like, we cleaned and dusted up here and I've put that there I think that looks really nice now we even like dusted the light fittings we've been really really good and, and above the pictures we've been super thorough um so yeah I'm just really really pleased with how it's all working now. It's not just that it feels like it's going to work better for the baby. It's like a more of a pleasure to be in here. So yeah, feel really pleased that we made the effort. Um, that's Dan's side of the bed. He's got his APC and Margaret Howe totes there as well with extra bum bags and things. But we like a hook. We like a hook to hang bits on, on the walls. So <laughs> we do that a lot, as you can see in this room. Um, he's got cap over there as well um so yeah hooks are kind of our thing it's one of our favorite like ways of styling rooms and having extra storage it, living in a north london flat that we love but that is not enormous so yes thank you so much for watching as i say if you have any questions leave them in the comments um i would love it so much if you would subscribe um to my channel um, or like this video I'd love if you really enjoy this video I would love to know that because most of my videos are much more like just sit down and talk to the camera and obviously this has been a lot more work but I've really enjoyed doing it for you but it's been a process of film a little bit here and now we've done this bit and now we've done this stage film another little bit so it's more work so 
if you like this style of video please like the video so that i know and i'll do more like this we actually have a living room one coming soon um if you're wondering about where the baby's nappy is going to be changed other than just like grabbing him from here in the morning and in the night and doing it on the bed we will have stuff set up so we can do that um but really the main place is it's going to be next door. We've got a lovely changing mat on the sideboard next door. So we'll probably pick him up and take him through there to do it in a kind of more like safe way. Um, and just to save our backs. But we will also um, do it on the bed, I'm sure, as well. So we'll probably store some nappies and a changing mat and wet wipes underneath the cot too. So that's everything, I think. Thank you again and I will speak to you very soon in my next video.